Okay, so this is part two. I stopped you in mid-pour of the chocolate on part one. I hope you've managed to cobble the two of them together and they haven't got lost apart, separated from one another. But now, seamlessly, we go into the pouring of the chocolate and the chocolate covered cherries. Don't forget to enter the giveaway on this post for your chance to be in the prize draw to win your very own chocolate covered cherries. And so this video is a tribute to Hercules Candy, but also a massive thank you to Heather. Thanks, Heather. OK, here we go. We're just going to go for it. All right. We're just going to go for it. There. See? Easy. Now it's really hot, so I'm going to do it. I've watched Steve do this so many times. I'm going to move this around the cold marble. I think you've got metal, haven't you? But I'm going to move this around the cold marble until it's cooled down and tempered. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do... Oh, man, look what I just did. I'm going to try... <laughs> I'm trying to do a chocolate twist. <laughs> Let's do that again. That was, that's, that was pathetic. Okay, but it's the first time I've tried it, so, okay. What about that? Oh, playing with your food. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of guessing it's still not cool enough. And I don't want it to go off the end. Ooh, yes it is. It's 82. Okay, let's go. Let's go. It's 82. First chocolate covered cherry. Here we go. How do you make it so that you don't have so much chocolate on your hand, Steve? First one. Now, the deal with the chocolate covered cherries is you have to cover them twice because they make that um, juice and it leaks. You get leakers. Yeah. And we don't want that, do we? Okay, so it's a bashing here. So this chocolate's cooled down really quickly. The room is quite cool. Chocolate covered cherries. If only I lived in East Syracuse, I could come and get a job with you guys. What a shame I don't. Oh, that's great. I did so enjoy those cherries you sent me. They were the fa my favourite thing. Okay. So I think the deal is I get the chocolate in my hand, throw it into my hand and bash it round a bit and chocolate cover it. Oh, can you see the... Yeah, you can see. Now, my big worry about moving to the new place was where are you going to put the TV? It's been a worry because uh, I know how much you like watching your Christmas movies and your sports programmes and um, whatever else you watch. Monty Python. And nights that say me. You see... Good stuff. And I just think your television's too small. I'll come right out and say it. Your television's too small, guys. And you won't be able to see it from everywhere. So I think you need a big flat screen TV. Get another super chat for $500. That was amazing, wasn't it? And buy yourself a nice big flat screen TV. Now, how soon can I cover this, them for the second time? I guess I'm going to have to leave them to um, set really well and then I can cover them a second time. Ooh, that one had a bare spot on it. It's a thing, isn't it, Steve? Coping with the bare spots. And this chocolate's solidifying now, but I've got some more in my 
bowl here so that I can yeah and of course Hercules you've moved premises and that's exciting news but nothing like as exciting as Max getting his hair cut uh, and I you know so moving the marble table I hope that's coming soon I think it is but then um, poor Max he's a reluctant superstar isn't he I feel a bit sorry for Max <laughs> all these comments about making a Max calendar and having Max covered in chocolate very inappropriate Max I just think you're lovely I think you're all lovely actually I think that's why the channel works you know because none of you take yourselves too seriously that's important because as soon as you start taking yourself a bit seriously and think that you're you're doing something really amazing you're covering chocolate cherries with chocolate why not have a bit of fun at the same time and that's what comes across you know in that channel of yours is the uh, fun the silly little catchphrases we all know now and um, the family friendly feel that's what that's what I watch it for um, and that's why you've got the success you have and it's well deserved right this chocolate on the my puddle now is solid so I'm gonna put some more out I'm just gonna pour it guys and oh yes that's nice and warm now I'm just gonna pour me coffee as well multitasking so I'll just get this puddle mixed up and we'll just see what temperature it is now 87 what do you do when it all solidifies around the outsides i need all that chocolate back in production don't i 84 that will be fine so i need to, i'm gonna have to scrape all this stuff up So far, so good. It's going well. And I'm enjoying myself, which of course is the important part. This is the last one of this batch. Then I'll do the second batch. I've covered the cherries once. I've also made some, I covered some of my apple slices, my dried apple. So I dried, I dried the apple in my dehydrator and then I covered the slices in chocolate. I'm not sure that's a particularly good idea, but I've just done a few. Okay then, so I've got to cover the chocolate cherries a second time now. Well, I've just had a partial clear up uh, after making all of these chocolate covered cherries. I only made a little bit. I'm exhausted. You guys, new respect. You're amazing. So I'm nearly at 500 subscribers. So. I'm not going to get too worried about numbers here. 500 is a big deal for me. I've only been, this channel's been going less than a year and it's just a little tiny channel about hens and, and garden and crafts, knitting, sewing, spinning and so on, dyeing. It's all of that. And so I, I've got some lovely, lovely supporters. So what I'd like to say is if you are a follower of this channel and you would like to be in with a chance of winning one of these two Hercules candies. Now the boxes have been used. Bear in mind, I made them without my gloves on. My hands were very, very clean. Every always clean. This is a house with cats in, but the cats were eliminated from the whole area. and I swept everything down before I started. If you can accept all of that, and you still want to be in with a chance of a draw anywhere in the world, all you have to do is on this post, okay, uh, because I'll do random number generator on this post, not on a future one, on this one. 
just say, um, you know, just say you'd, uh, hello and you'd like to win. I'll send it anywhere in the world. It's, look, that's what it's going to look like. And this one says sea salt caramels, but I might cover that up and say um, chocolate covered cherries. And this says Hercules candies, but I might cover that up and say the last homey house. I might, or I might leave it as it is. So leave your intention to enter the draw in the comments below. Anybody, it doesn't matter whether you're a subscriber or not. I mean, I'd like it if you're a subscriber. That would be nice. But, you know, this channel's growing organically and I quite like that. These are the leftover cherries after I packed the boxes. And these are the apple slices, which I'm, I've had a couple, but I've had too much chocolate this morning. So I'm going to now do the massive task of editing this video, which is going to be um, longer than making it. That's usually my experience. Anyway, Hercules, if you're still watching, Hercules Candies, Craig, Max, Terry, Steve, Karen, Sam, Kerry, Brad. I think you're awesome. I really do think you're awesome. And one of these days I might get to East Syracuse and surprise you all in your fantastic new shop. Good luck, guys. Good luck. I think you're amazing. <sighs> Thanks for watching.